A home is a place where one lives, where we eat, sleep, spend time as a family. It is the center of our family life. So it is always an exciting time when you are looking for a new home. Visiting different builders or looking at different pre-existing home, trying to find the right home for you and your family. When moving did arrive, it's always an exciting time. You pack all your belongings and move right in without giving any consideration to what evil spirit that may have reside in the home or land before you purchased it. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 6 verse 12, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. So keep in mind, if something feels particular off in your new home, it could be a spiritual problem. Christians unknowingly have many items in their homes that open the door for satanic spirits to come in. Many of us are living in sin, subconsciously or unconsciously, that opens a door for the enemy to come and reside. In Deuteronomy 7 verse 26, the Bible says, Do not bring any of these idols into your homes, or the same curse will be on you that is on them. You must hate and despise these idols because they are under the Lord's curse. One of the ways we can be cursed is by acknowledging or worshiping false gods, which includes cults or false religions and new age religions which takes us to the occult. The only way to escape these curses, to be set free from the consequences that comes from being involved with any of these things, first we must be honest with God and confess our sins. Proverbs 28 verse 13 says, He who covers his sin will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. James 5 verse 16 says, Therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. It is not in God's plans for you to stay in a house full of demonic spirit, a house of satanic nightmares, a house that supports curse and shame. In the Bible, God blessed the house of his servants for his purpose and glory. Psalm 127 verse 1 to 2 says, Unless the Lord builds the house, the builder labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the God stands watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for good to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. Today we are going to pray for God to show us any satanic object or gifts that you currently own that should be removed from your home. This could include books, artwork, any sculptures, pornography, any jewelry and posters, any demonic clothing or music and television shows that you watch. Pray for the people who live in your home. Pray for your home to be a heaven and refuge for those you love. Pray for your home to be a shining light of love and truth in the darkness. Pray for God to take up residence in your home and for him to be the central person in the lives of your family. Pray for protection from evil. Pray for peace. Pray for unity and rest. Praying over your home is a wonderful way to cleanse the home from any of the devil's schemes. By praying over your home, you are asking God to protect those inside it and making him the priority in your lives. Let us pray. 1 King 9 verse 3 And the Lord said to him, I have heard your prayer and your supplication that you have made before me. I have consecrated this house which you have built to put my name there forever and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. 2 Samuel 7 verse 29 Now therefore, let it please you to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue before you forever. For you, O Lord God, have spoken it, and with your blessing let the house of your servant be blessed forever. Heavenly Father, you are the one and only living God, and I put my hope and trust in you and your Son Jesus Christ. 
I believe and trust in you, that you alone have all the power and authority in heaven and on earth. I come to you today asking for spiritual cleansing of this home and every room in it. I pray for the home to become supernaturally new and clean, so that this home may glorify you and only you. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that your Holy Spirit move into this house and spiritually cleanse it. As a saved believer, I renounce all my sin, known and unknown to me, that have been committed here. I also renounce all my family's sin, known and unknown, that have been committed here. I renounce any sinful item ever kept here. I renounce any sinful things that were ever spoken. I renounce any sinful or evil people who previously lived here or entered this home. In the name and power and authority of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I renounce any satanic claim attempts on this place or on those who live here or on the items kept here. As a follower of Jesus Christ, I bind, rebuke, and command any demon, any false angels or spirit from trying to make their home here on our land. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to leave this home and land and to never come back. In the name and the power and authority of Jesus Christ, I claim this home as a place of Christian spiritual safety and protection. I bless this place in the name of my Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. I ask you, Jesus, to place your blessing and spiritual edge of protection on and around this place. Clean it with your holy blood and let it be made new for me and my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I dedicate and consecrate this house to my Lord Christ Jesus and claim it is under his divine protection from the top of the roof to the bottom of the footing and everything in between. So, Father, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you will surround this house and the property on which it stands with the edge of protection. Surround our family and this property with your favor as with a shield on all sides, above and below. Father God, I ask that you send your powerful warrior angels to protect the four corners of this house and property, guarding everyone who lives within it. Heavenly Father, please let only your Holy Spirit and your holy angels dwell in this house with us. Thank you, Father, for the complete victory I already have in Christ Jesus. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth and in this home as it is in heaven. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen.